Welcome back, your extraordinary subscribers to the Hemingway Land YouTube channel. On this, our final week of property debuts for the year 2022. And closing out this year, people, we are back in, as you can see, the Silver State, the state of Nevada, or more specifically, Baboom, Nye County. Yes, people, once more, we return with some new properties in what I like to call the Vegas-adjacent town of Pahrump. More specifically, we have these five new lots you see here, all part of a new subdivision we have never previously before bought, listed, or sold land in, known as the Country View Estates. And as we go to the map, you will see that this new sub is located in the northern part of the Pahrump Valley, just east of the 160 here in this one of the last little residential areas you find out here with dense clusters of home sites. Now, this Country View Estate sub is actually quite small, really only occupies a few blocks. In fact, if we outline it on the map here, you will see exactly how few parcels of land there are out here and how few of those parcels have yet to be developed. Fortunately, however, we were able to acquire five of those lots and are offering them for sale this week. Now, of course, this sub, like all the residential regions out here, has access to all city utilities, including city water and city sewer. Additionally, there are residential power lines and underground telecom boxes featuring phone cable and internet snaking throughout the sub. Some of these parcels will have those features available, as we like to say, at the lot line. One or two of them, they sit about 200, 300 feet from the property. But either way, all of these are right in the path of development and should be easy to develop themselves. Additionally, each of these new lots is about a half acre in size, so a healthy chunk of land for Southern Nevada and larger than you will find in the neighboring Calvada Valley subdivisions also out here in Pahrump. And of course, each of these is priced between 20 and 25,000. Now, as we go back to the map here, you will see that we have all the properties highlighted to give you guys a better sense of which one is where within this small area. And as you can see, most all of them sit here along Aurora Avenue. Now, let me just go through these from south to north just to point out and highlight the special features of each. So first off, these first two properties sit within about 300 feet of the paved Country Place Road. They back up to developed home sites, have residential power lines along their eastern boundaries, and underground telecom running along Aurora here at their western boundaries. This next one is a large half-acre corner lot located here where Aurora Ave meets Roy Ave, just about 300 feet from the paved turnoff at Reddlesburger Road. In addition, this property has underground telecom at the lot line and sits none too far from residential power lines and surrounding development to its east. Next up, we have this, the smallest and least expensive of all the lots located here, also along Roy Ave, also a couple hundred feet from paved roads and surrounding development. And just up the street from this one, we have another large corner acre lot located where Treasure Road meets Aurora Ave, roughly about 200 feet from residential power lines right here, and all the aforementioned residential development to the east. And of course, it wouldn't be a video about real estate in Pahrump if I didn't take time to remind everyone how much I like these, not only as residential lots, but also as investment properties, based on the rapidly expanding and appreciating neighboring Vegas metro area. Two towns have about 40 miles of undeveloped land between them at the moment, but that distance narrows every year and will likely continue to narrow appreciably in the next decade. Additionally, there's a lot of people moving to the area for jobs who can't afford to live in Vegas or Henderson, and those people are buying land and houses in Pahrump. So in summation, people, don't sleep on Pahrump. With all that said, as we wrap up 2022, I just wanted to take a moment to thank all of you. We always thank our buyers in these videos, but it means a lot to me that there are people who tune in every week and watch these videos, listen to me complain about things, shill for properties, and ultimately comment. Uh, people like Karina and James and Known One, Jerome, all the, all the Hemingway Land YouTube comment all-stars, really. So thank you to them. Uh, additionally, as always, I have a lot of plan for the business going forward in 2023, more land in more states being the most obvious, but also more consistent inventory in the states that we already purchase in. Uh, we're looking to start the new year with a new web presence, and apparently, apparently, we'll be getting trained on the new website over the month of December, fingers crossed on that. So we hope to finally be going live with that in January. Who knows, guys? Who knows? Point being... We've listed 400 plus properties this year. We've had 320 sales so far this year, 1,600 plus during the life of the business. And all that success and all the growth we've experienced since our inception could not have been possible without you guys. A fact which is, I assure you, 
never lost on me for you. You are the people who allow me to divide my time equally between my work pajamas and my sleeping pajamas. And as the entire staff at Hemingway Land works from home, I'm sure I speak for all of us when I say thank you for that. So as we close the book on 2022, just want to take a moment to wish all of you a fantastic holiday season. Happy New Year. And we will see you back here in next year's videos.